shine in your smile. Bring me laughter all the while in this world where we live. Um, I'm Tali Boschowska and myself and Gina Meekle interviewed Anne Golding. It was fascinating to hear what life was like in Morecambe during the war, especially from Anne's perspective as she helped with the war effort. barrel organ which we call the hurdy-gurdy and he used to stand at the end of the street and turn it and all the kids used to come and dance around this barrel organ this was our highlight on a Monday night <laughs> and we also used to have street singers in those days men used to come singing and they'd have a cap you know and you'd lots of street entertainments yeah and when I was a child, everything was delivered with horse and cart, and everybody was the same. No electricity, no hot and cold water. And we used to go and swim in the loon with all the filth and sewer and everything. It's un unbelievable. I don't know how live so long. <laughs> all the germs and the filth that we... We played amongst, but they reckon that if you play among it, you become immune, so must be something in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there used to be men walked around on stilts and um, jugglers. And there used to be, I don't know whether you've ever seen them, they'd have a dummy strapped to the feet and they're around, a lady. And they'd dance, he was on his own, but it was a dummy and they used to do dancing all around with these dummies on the feet, you know. So what variety acts did you watch? Famous stars in the day. Guy Mitchell came to Morecambe. Um, we had all the big dance bands. And the Winter Gardens had their own dance band then. Mm -hmm. It was all live, you know. Sid Lipton, Joe Loss, uh, Harry Roy. Um, Ambrose, Jack Hilton, yeah, they used to come on a Sunday night. My husband was stationed at Pontins and he was walking to Lancaster with his friend. We were sat on this, it was a bench where they used to, farmers used to put the milk kits and these two soldiers came along and asked us the way to Lancaster and our bikes were there. And my husband was fascinated with my bike. And my husband always said, I fell in love with her as soon as I saw her. And I said, you didn't, you fell in love with the bike. <laughs> <laughs> I said, and if Grace's bike had been green, you'd have fell in love with Grace. <laughs> yeah, he was a drummer. Full of rhythm, but he didn't dance. But I kept me dancing going. Oh, we used to cycle for miles and miles. And we used to go to Knot End and we'd follow the tram, lane, tram lines into Blackpool and spend all afternoon on the pleasure beach. We didn't have a penny to spend, but we just used to love the atmosphere. And then we'd cycle back and that's when, on a Sundays, if it was nice, and we'd been to Blackpool, that's when we used to then go to the winter gardens into the gods and watch the big dance bands of the was the cheapest seats in the winter gardens which went so high as high as the building itself and that's all you could afford to you were lucky to get into the gods there was always somebody putting concerts and apps on to for the war everything was for the war effort you know mm. the fat man used to run up the stage with this <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was him, yeah and then there was a, some, another man used to come with um, performing dogs Ronald Franco he was a, a foreigner you couldn't tell a word he was saying but he used to uh, 
Mimic. <laughs> <laughs> it, there's supposed to be comedy, but I could never, never get anything out of it. <laughs> Even when I worked at the moor and we got our wages, we always had to buy a sixpenny stamp and stick it onto a, a bomb. The, there was one bomb that dropped off target up near the moor. It didn't do any damage. So they had it in the front hall at the Moor Hospital and as you got your wages you paid sixpence and stuck a stamp on for the war effort. <laughs> so did you still get to dance whilst working at the hospital? Yes, and they used to have what we called <coughs> dances in various venues and they used to start at eight o'clock and finish at two in the morning. But I worked from half past seven in the morning till half past seven in the evening. And um, we used to go to the dance at eight o'clock after work and dance till two o'clock and go back to the hospital. And we didn't go to bed because we'd be up the next morning. So there's many a night we never went to bed when we went dancing. We were young, weren't we? <laughs> we used to have a little snooze in the afternoon. <laughs> there was so much humour, you know, when we were kids. Um, I suppose if you didn't laugh you would cry because, you know, times were really hard.